That's gonna be a really cool like. Gotta do my little thumbnail early. You feel me? I, I might have to throw on the little the little. Oh, that's F forty five towel. I thought it said Merced. Well, I did get it in Merced, but that doesn't really count. Okay, so what's going on right now? If you don't understand why I'm in front of a green screen, I know I like green screens. I might actually switch chairs so I can have more of a floating back. So I got rid of the background chair because I wanted to be more connected to you guys right there. So this is going to be the story of how I almost got kicked out of UC Merced in my freshman year because some people don't know this story. People that are involved in this story, they know, they can comment, whether this is YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, wherever I post it, they can comment and they can tell you that this is 100% factually true. I'm not going to lie. There is no need to lie because the story is already crazy enough. So we're going to get into it right now. Here we go. And I also know that you guys are probably wondering, Anya, are you just going to spit this from memory? Like, what if you miss facts and all that? Well, for you guys, I decided to write out the story in all its entirety. And I don't this will be a one part video, honestly, because it is a long situation. There was a lot of facts and everything. And I was like, do I keep this? Do I save this? Will they even like it? I don't really care if you like it. I just want to get my story out because I think it's hilarious. If you hear it and love it, dope, follow, show some love, comment some nice things. If not, then maybe like the next video. So I went to UC Merced, University of California, Merced. It is the youngest UC but it's also the newest, freshest campus is blossoming with growth, new building every semester. It's amazing for school. There's nothing else out there. If you don't know where Merced is, it's in Northern California and Northern California is huge. So specify a little bit more on it. Okay, cool. Bakersfield. If you know where Bakersfield is, you're halfway there. I'm from LA, of course. If you know where Fresno is, you're about an hour away. So Bakersfield, Fresno, and Merced will be like right there. All right. If you're Modesto though, then you pass about 45 minutes. So run it back. All right, so why I decided to go to UC Merced? Because a lot of people still to this day do not understand. Although I applied to 13 schools, I got into 11. And from those 11, realistically, I only really had two that I really cared about and wanted to go to. I had University of California Merced and San Diego State University. And even though I had two of my closest friends going to San Diego State University, I had my older brother going to University of California Merced and he was going into his senior year. So about two visits in, I kind of met all the cool seniors. And I was like, yeah, done deal. I gotta go here. It's fun, it's nice, it's new. I can really be myself. It's a totally different area, super far from LA. So I'm like, don't worry about the parents popping up because Nigerian parents will just pop up if you're too close. So remember that. So before move-in day, we actually got all the names of all our roommates and who we'd be staying with. And so like any sane person, we all searched each other up on Facebook. After a couple days of process of elimination, you know, who's going to UC Merced, da 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 da, we really figured out who they were. And we added each other and we had a group chat going. And I already knew off bat that one of these guys I was gonna be closer with, the guy who plays basketball, plays the same music as me, plays, plays Xbox like me. He was going to be the one I was closest with. And our other roommate, Dylan, no offense to him, he's a really cool guy. Um, he was always on FaceTime with his girlfriend. They've been together since middle school, like <sighs> impressive. I think they're still together. If not, I'm sorry. But if they are, that's great. That's dope. But he was kind of more kept to himself. He was a really cool guy, but he ended up leaving after a little bit. But he was really cool. He played basketball with us once, I think. That was really fun. Um, but yeah, he's a cool guy. But me and Clay got really close and that's my boy to this day. Also, shout out to Clay. If you don't know, he's on TikTok as, you know, the bread guy. He's got a lot of bread. That's his, it's kind of his thing. And it, it's cool. It's going it's pretty viral. It's pretty wild. So if you don't know, now you don't tap in. <laughs> so we're in the dorm, chilling one night, playing 2K, eating snacks, probably watching YouTube videos or whatever. And Clay's like, hey, we should get a cat. And I was like, Bro, what? Like, we can't. If we could get a cat, how would we get it here? And and Clay responds, Well, we could wait until one of our dorm mates goes to their hometown, and then on their way up, they could just bring the cat back to the dorm. Immediately, I'm impressed because I'm like, obviously, he's been thinking about this for a while. So I'm saying, But we can't have a cat in the dorm. They'll just kick us out as soon as they find out the cat's here. And he's like, Hold on. And Clay pulls out the rule book, hands it to me, and I open it up, and I see one sentence highlighted. It says, No pets, only fish in 10 gallons tanks or smaller are permitted he says how about no tank and we said at the same time this 
ridiculous. And Happy we named the, the catfish. catfish. So we're like, this is genius. I don't know how this needs to work, but we're gonna make it work. We're laughing for like 30 minutes, and there's an awkward silence, like, this, this is weirdly a good idea that I feel like is not just gonna be a joke. We decided that one of our doormates would have to bring this cat back to Merced and we're gonna make this dream happen. And I'm Nigerian, so there's absolutely no way my parents will allow me to bring a cat back to Merced to my dorm. The second the cat gets in the car, I'm done. We all brought our little list of the cats in our hometown and uh, we ended up choosing the one from our dorm mate Andres's hometown. Shout out to Andres, he was from nearby. He chose Fish because he was a guy cat and it's an all boy dorm, obviously. Also, he was the cheapest, so. That did help the decision making process. But he's also really cute. Like, I mean, for 20 bucks, he definitely looked like at least a like $50 cat. Like, he was, he was, he was cute in the face. I, look, there's pictures. Look, bow, 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 bow. look, look at all those pictures of that cat. He's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I miss him. All right, so we decided to go with fish. 